Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews and welcome to another edition of the Action Movie November Endeavour that I am currently going through at the moment. Uh, this is another not quite one paragraph review, this time of the action film Air Force One. Angry Andy, Angry Andy Reviews Angry Andy Air Force One is a highly political action thriller that puts American patriotism front and centre. At what one could argue to be the end of the golden era of action movies, Air Force One was everything great and abundantly terrible with the modern evolution of the genre. Brutal and absolutely violent, featuring a terrific cast led by Harrison Ford as President James Marshall, who fights to regain control of Air Force One, the presidential plane, following a hijacking led by the nefarious and cruel Igor Koshinov, played by an absolutely out-of-this-world Gary Oldman. I cannot begin to praise the performance of Gary Oldman enough in this film, and if for no other reason that you choose to watch this film, you must watch it for the performance of Gary Oldman alone. The performance is incredible and it's a great shame that like very few people actually talk about this performance these days. The hijacking itself orchestrated to in initiate the release of Igor's leader General Radic is one of the best set pieces among a slew of set pieces within the film. Frenetic and as I said brutal and violent it set the tone for the tendencies of Gary Oldman's character who remains unhinged and calculating and methodical throughout the film. He carries a palpable tension over the entirety of the cast, cementing a legacy as one of the most frightening and violent, if, like I said, completely forgotten villains to ever appear on screen. Harrison Ford, uh, for everything that he does, is just as equally brilliant as the resourceful and clever Marshall, who is determined to save as many people as he can and protect his family along the way going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Gary Oldman in the later scenes of the film, which are just, again, absolutely brilliant. The little connections and little bits of dialogue they have together really do make the film, probably more than the action itself, to be quite honest. Its flaws, as I said, lie mainly with the mega patriotic feel of the film, which lends itself towards some pretty damn horrific cliches that end up undermining the overall impact of the film, which was a huge box office hit at the time. The score features that typical sombre USA trumpet melody that you will have heard from countless war movies beforehand, and it works to a degree, but as I said, brings a pulpy and cliché tone to the proceedings, but Considering the composer Jerry Goldsmith had about 12 days to actually put it all together, I think you can forgive him just a little bit for it. But, just to cement that patriotic film and my very meaning, it's worth noting that uh, good old President Trump used the score for much of his campaign for election back in 2016. Hmm, okay then. Air Force One is a forgotten gem and probably one of the last great all-action movies of the 90s that has some really great and ridiculous moments throughout and a truly killer one-liner. <laughs> There it is. I mean, it's a film that did actually vanish, you know, in subsequent years due to, obviously, what happened at the start of the noughties. But it's a film that is deserving of a rewatch, no doubt. And I highly recommend you just see if you can find it, pull it out, give it a watch, just purely for those performances alone by Harrison Ford and Gary Oldman. It is a pretty great classic, to be fair. But there you have it. This is a very quick... Uh, one paragraph review, not quite one paragraph review, but thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do like underneath, leave a comment. Have you ever seen this film? What did you think of it? Does it hold up today? I'm not quite sure it does, 
but I still find a bit of enjoyment in it. Please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more movie reviews like this and collectible unboxings and the like. But thank you very much for watching, as I said. Bye-bye.